Yo guys, what's up, Jonas here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can fix the WS374037 error on PlayStation 4, which prevents a user from logging in into the PS4 account. So, the main issues for this error is could simply be a maintenance break. So, check if the PlayStation servers are online, there's going to be a link in the description for that. If not, you might have an incorrect DNS configurations. So, if your DNS isn't like haven't been entered properly, uh, it's due to which the console is facing issues while connecting to the network. It is important that the PS4 is able to establish a secure and stable connection with the servers in order for it to work properly. So when you go ahead and view your connection status, you can see for example here that I'm using Google's public DNS, but you could have a different default DNS, so we're gonna go ahead and fix that. What you have to do is to set up your internet connection. You can use either Wi-Fi or LAN cable. Then for here you're gonna select custom. IP address, you can, if you want to set a static IP address, which is a manual, check out one of my videos. I'm going to leave a link in the top card. But if not, we're going to go automatic for here. DHCP, do not specify. DNS settings are going to be manual. So for the DNS settings, you can try to use Cloudflare's primary DNS, for example, which are 1.1.1.1 and secondary 1.0.0.1. Or Google's public DNS, which or have which were already entered. And if you want to see more DNS and go deeply into the subject, you can check out the video I'm leaving in the top card right now. For well, MTU settings automatic and proxy servers do not use. At this point, you can go ahead and test the internet connection. And as you can see, the PlayStation Network sign-in has been successful. But if it's not, the problem could be an outdated software. The PlayStation 4. Uh, like my, the console might not have been updated due to the recent uh, uh, software so this might cause an error so what you have to do is to go ahead and turn off your ps4 and once you turn off your ps4 you're gonna enter into safe mode by holding the power button for at least seven seconds until you hear two beeps this will put your playstation into the safe mode from here you're gonna go ahead and follow one of these steps so since the error on your PS4 is having an outdated software, what you have to do to fix it is to go ahead and update the system software, which is the third option in safe mode. Once you hit system software, you can update using a USB storage device. I'm going to leave a link to, to download the update on your USB, or you can update using your internet. So if you hit update using internet, if there's an update or a system software, available your ps4 is going to detect it and then it's going to prompt you to start installing the soft this the system update once you update the system it's going to automatically restart if not what you can do or after installing the update or the, if you do not want to install the update you have one last fix which is to restart the ps4 from the safe mode so all you have to do is hit restart ps4 and then your ps4 will restart then test your internet connection to see so if it's now connected so I hope you enjoyed this video, I'm going to leave many links in the description and the top card, check them out, and thanks for watching, see you next time, peace!